What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. It's time for Leo the P.O. Electra Watch 2024. Uh, so this just in, um, we have, this is in the wrong area. <laughs> okay, so this just in, we have um, uh, Harris at 43% of the vote and Trump at 52% of the popular vote. But Trump has a lot more electoral college uh, wins, but that's just because um, he's won a lot more states in the electoral college, but that's just because they're like definite, like for sure Republican strongholds. Um, and a lot of the blue states uh, take a lot longer to be for sure, you know, uh, to like lock in their electoral college votes. So um, yeah, Pennsylvania is sort of the big spooky uh, sort of, uh, you know, the uh, big spooky state that everybody's looking at because I believe whoever's won Pennsylvania in the past four elections goes on to win the presidential election. Um, so uh, fingers crossed for, for Harris on the on the, on the the Pennsylvania front. Uh, she's in the lead right now, but only 19% of the votes are in and then they're going to have to count mail-in ballots and, and stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be a whole thing. Uh, but yeah. Georgia's leaning red, which is fine. Uh, well, not really. I mean, last year uh, it went blue, which was a little crazy um, and isn't necessarily what people expected. Um, but yeah, according to the Silver Bulletin, which is Nate Silver's uh, sort of um, uh, Nate Silver's uh, poll aggregation sort of thing, um, it says that I could just go. Um, yeah, so there were, there were, uh, yeah, there were 80,000 simulations ran and out of those 80,000 simulations, Kamala won in 40,012, which is 50.01% of cases. So it really is like a very super tight 50, 50 race, at least according to polling, uh, which historically hasn't been super correct the past few years, but you know, I mean, you can't just not trust, um, you know, polling. I, I, I feel like it's something you should always pay attention to, even if um, it doesn't necessarily have the most accurate track record. Um, but yeah, um, it's really crazy. Uh, you know, of course, I live in Seattle, right? And I have a lot of proclivities that would incline me to support Harris, uh, and I voted for Harris. Um, but, you know, um, uh, it's just really crazy. Um, you know, elections are really, really weird and crazy, and um, yeah, it's just weird. Uh, for breakfast, oh, I'm not at school today. Technically, class was supposed to start 17 minutes ago, um, but because I'm like a little bit sick, and because uh, the election is happening today, uh, I'm not going to school, which I'm sure is the case for like quite a few people, because the professor last week said that we don't have to show up today because uh, of the election. Um, for breakfast this morning, I had, um, well, I guess for, like, brunch, I had stew. For dinner, we had, um, uh, pizza that we ordered, and that was pretty tasty. Um, and then, you know, I just did some schoolwork. I finished up my, uh, um, my AWS stuff, um, and I learned about, like, storage services, like, AWS storage services, and, um, uh, Amazon S3 Glacier it looks really really interesting and I'm thinking about um, having my Minecraft server automatically back up to like the S3 like Glacier sort of vault um, because it seems really cheap and if I'm only if I only want to store like 10 backups on there um, that's like barely any ex that's not expensive at all um, so yeah that's pretty much it um, I woke up at 5.20 a.m. this morning, I walked five miles on the treadmill, and then I sort of just, I took a nap after that, uh, which is unusual for me, but yeah, you know, then I did my work, and I've recently just finished it, so um, yeah, I'm probably going to be going to bed a little later than normal tonight. Um, tr I've been trying to go to bed at around 8, so then I get eight hours of sleep um, still, um, but uh, it's the election, so it's a little spooky. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else is happening. Aside from the, aside from the U.S. election, God, um, yeah. All right, see you, dude.